Hey, what's everybody? Rich from Streak, your Hempstead, New York. Today we're going to review the Chlorophyll 3s. These shoes are releasing November 10th. Uh, box is 190 and the color on the box is light smoke gray chlorophyll. Okay, this one for the review. A brief history of the shoe. The, um, the 3 comes out in 1988, another Tinker Hatfield shoe. Uh, this is the year they put the Viz Air on, on the Jordans. Uh, Mike wanted a touch of an animal, so that's where the elephant print comes here onto the shoe. Uh, it's got a polyurethane midsole, so it was a lot of stability. A little bit more weight to the shoe, but uh, it was definitely a stable shoe. and um, had a lot of motion control to it. But uh, Anyway, these, these are the chlorophyll 3s. Um, this shoe, the, the color weighs, well, there's one part of the history. It comes after John McEnroe wore that Trainer 1 back in the 80s. Uh, that, that had these colorways except for the sale. The sale wasn't... Actually, that sale wasn't mentioned on the box, was it? Let me just take another look again. Nope. Oh, light smoke. Great. Nope, it's not. Uh, like I said, that, uh, the, uh, that Trainer 1 was all these colors, but the midsole was white. Um, yeah, it didn't have the sale color. Um, but that, even that shoe, uh, that, that colorway comes out actually from Tinker Hatfield. This, this was his gym's color. Where the, I guess the, the place, uh, not his gym color, is actually the equipment in the gym that he went to. And that's where the steam of this colorway came from, as for the, for the original part of the history um, of this colorway. But um, looking at the colorway, uh, it's nice. I definitely think it would look better with a white midsole, because you see the white up here, here and it, it's kind of make it look aging. It could be a part of the nostalgic look of it, to, to have that look as far as the aging, but um, it's not a bad shoe, but it definitely, I think, I think could, it could look better without the sale here. The sale works if it's, if it's done right. It's very hard to put sail and pure white on the shoe because it, it makes the sail look a little bit dirty. But um, but it's still it's still got a look to it. I mean I, I do I do lo I love this colorway with the green and the gray and the charcoal and it's black here. Um, but uh, yeah, so the sail is, is is a little bit little bit tough, but um, it's still a nice looking shoe. Um, I have a uh, I only got one hat actually to match it. Yeah, it's one Yankee hat. It's kind of a tough green that. Uh, that chlorophyll, that's probably the best one I could I could hit, and I think it works the best. I mean, if you can get that chlorophyll with some black, it'd probably be optimum, but um, these shoes, like I said, if you, if you get the clothing, whatever um, clothing that would match it, that's what's, that's what's going to make this this shoe pop even more, is matching up the right way with the gears, so um, it'll, make, it'll make it look better. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a good shoe. Like, I love the Jordan 3s, and this is, is nice looking, but they could have done a little a little bit, a little bit change up with this, this sale and back to the white, but that's all right. We'll take it. Still nice looking Jordan. Uh, just some shoes that could come in. I've got another. Well, I'm going to do another review. I think Wednesday. It's going to be the uh, the twelves. So I'll have another lineup of shoes um, that's come in in the last couple of weeks. This is that over branding shoe. This has been very hot. Uh, it's got all the different ways of you know putting Nike brand on a shoe. That's what they call it, the over branding shoe. This is a hundred bucks. This, these shoes are, are sell out fast. Uh, I think I'll have a white one uh, that's coming. in. I'll do on the next video. Um, these are Darwin's, these are 130, this is an old school colorway, these are cool. These are that Don C look, um, these are um, actually the 312s is what the name of the shoe is, these are 150. This shoe is definitely more of an old school look, kind of reminds me of like an Air Force 3 uh, with that Alpha, with an Alpha uh, Max that had that strap like that, but um, it's a cool looking shoe, actually a little bit of an Air Assault too. So this is definitely old school, got two colors. With the Lakers color here and the black and the black and gray, uh, cool shoe, but definitely old school on on, on this on this um, that style. You have your couple two seventies. You got the all green one here, which is I think this is this is cool. A lot of green color in the store right now with um, Champion and the Nike Tech. So this is a pretty cool colorway. This is new that just came in again. Uh, the gray, black, and a little infrared that pops nice. Air Max ninety seven. These are one sixty. These were one fifty. Um, Air Deluxe also one sixty. These two are nice. Uh, then you got um, Air Max 95, um, Vapor Max. Nice shoe, it's 190. They did this on that last colorway. I wish this wasn't white. This should have been a dark, dark black or the dark charcoal or something else instead of that white. I think it would have, the shoe still looks nice, but I think they, they missed it up a little bit on this one by not putting that, um, that darker color on this bottom bridge. But it still looks a nice looking shoe, it's a 95. These here I love. These, these are the, these are the, the um, Vapor Max Utilities. These are really, really nice. Uh, three colors right now. Uh, it's got this little 
you know, these, 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 I don't think I have another Vapor Max up here. No, I don't. Just to show you the difference of the pluses and the other Vapor Max. But, um, yeah, it's got a little of, uh, what we've got here, Nikron Utility. Just a little bit of branding back here. Uh, Vapor Max, that's always on the back of the shoe. But yeah, it's a cool looking shoe. I like these shoes a lot. Three colors, either 190. This is the Foam Posit Air Force. Uh, these are $200. Um, it's a nice shoe. Like I said, it's definitely retro on this shoe. I definitely would have think this with an, uh, with an ice bottom would have looked much better. Uh, still looks pretty cool, but ice bottom would have popped this shoe much better, $100. These are Zoom Rookies. These are fire. I love these shoes. These are perfect as they are. These are $210. Um, they look, uh, yeah, the Zoom Rookies, these are really cool. So I like those. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, like I said, um, in a couple of days, I'm gonna I'm gonna review those. Um, hopefully, they'll come tomorrow. The um, the Jordan 12, that all was all red ones, and I'll show you more shoes that came in. It's probably another lineup of this at least um, that I'll put on the end of that video. Uh, yeah, take your last look at Jordan 3 Chlorophylls. Streak gear out.